Okay, do you feel the tension, Danny? Yeah, it feels great. These guys, you know, I'll tell you, their hearts are pumping right now. Right they're, now. They're one corner away from a green flag, and you know they want to make a good start. This is going to be a while down into the first corner. Looks good. I can feel it in here. I wish I had a knife to slice this tension into bits. There's we got a green, green flag. flag. Here we go. Underway, the MTV Ooh, Celebrity Challenge. A couple guys diving up the inside. We're five abreast here. Somebody's going in the inside. Looks like Vince Neal and Steve Baldwin and Tommy Lee right around the outside. Neal in the lead. See, it seems like they're taking it a little cautious at the first Well, turn. there's a little bit of tire squealing and stuff like that there. I tell you, this is tough to go down there two abreast. Oh, but looks like Vince has jumped out to a big lead. That's Baldwin on his tail. Steve might still have the air conditioner on. <laughs> you know, I told him not to run that. I hope Steve knows the race has started. And Tommy Lee is close behind Steve. So we've got Vince Neal, Steve Baldwin, and Tommy Lee. Two crews and a young rider up yeah. top. Vince Neal predicted a 1-2 for Motley Crew with, of course, him in first place. <laughs> it's pretty headstrong coming into this race. I tell you what, these guys though, just from observing, they're, they're oh, there we go, a little fender bender Whoa. there, just a little love tap to let <laughs> let him know that he was still back there. But they all looked like they got it sorted out. Jack Russell apparently a little contact there. Jack uh, Jack apparently hasn't slept in a few days, so that doesn't surprise me. Apparently he told Sebastian Bach he'd be dozing off on the straightaways to catch up on his sleep. Well, <laughs> that could be a little tough, but I think that was Herman Rebell too that. Uh, that Mark Slaughter there in car 13. He's the lead singer from the rock band Slaughter. Seems to be handling it all right. Yeah, everybody seems to be doing okay. There's your friend, Bias, Bias Elias. Elias. I love this story about Bias. He's, here's a guy, he's, he doesn't even own a car. He <laughs> predicted he'd be 15 laps behind. And he's hanging right in there. He's right at the tail end of the group, but he's having fun. He's, he's hanging back. He's waiting. He's, he's sniffing around. I like that. I like that in a guy that doesn't own a car. He's probably never been in one before, except in the backseat tied up. <laughs> Well, here we are. There we go. Oh, Vince looks pretty good through there. Steve Baldwin looked like he was hanging it out. Oh, we just got uh, somebody a little out of shape. I don't know if it was Tommy or, no, I think it was Dana Strom was real crossed up coming through there. It's probably the new pavement. The cars are on the other side right now, so we have a break from all the noise, but yeah. it's total mayhem. It's excellent. That's all I can say. Oh, there's Vince. Vince is like way ahead of everybody. He just passed and there's like a hundred yards before the rest of the cars came. Motley Crue, Motley Crue, they're going to do it, I have a feeling. So here's Motley Crue with Kickstart My Heart. They're going to win this race. And you can see the leader, Vince Neal. Tommy sitting in first. Oh, look at this. Just a nice little roll just to give the fans something to think about. There you go. There's the mile high itself right there. You can see a little bit of the sky here in Denver. Danny, you don't have one of those bags from the air, airlines on you, do you? No, but... Uh, <laughs> you're going to use if that sock? Anymore, if he does any more of that. Oh, the front leading bunch looks like they're close, closing up. Steve Baldwin's kind of closing in on Vince. He'll be feeling the pressure. And uh, looks like Tommy Lee's right behind him. So we do have sort of a motley crew <laughs> right in here, uh, kind of sandwiching a young they're rider. Pretty tight up top. Now, what speed do you think they're, they're, they're clicking at right now? Well, right there, they're probably doing 60, 70 miles an hour. Good line by Tommy Lee. And out course. onto the, that's the slowest part of the track, by the way, right there. So they're probably down as low as 30 miles an hour. Here they come in front of us. Steve's a little bit wider. The Motley crew seems to be holding a pretty good line. I'll tell you who's got good lines out there is uh, Tommy Lee. Looks like Tommy Lee could and make he, a move. He might, if he holds on to Steve down this straightaway, uh, we might see a pass at the end of the straightaway. And you know, it's interesting that we talked about these guys at the, at the beginning of the show. These three are the big race fans. Look how far they are right. out in front. I think Tommy's going to make a go at it. Watch Looks here. Like right here. Right here. He's going to try. Nope. Didn't have enough. Joey Gian has actually moved up to sixth place. He started in the 12th position, so he's moved up six points. We've, I've just been told the average speed on the track today is 49.33. That's so, not bad, especially not bad. when they... <laughs> right, that is that is still the legal speed limit a little, a little well now don't forget we're still talking about the average though they're, right. they're going a little bit faster this is what kevin's this is what kevin's looking at he's looking at downtown denver there's was that, the, oh i thought he was 
There's Kevin. There's the oh, shift. Not a bad shift. That looked pretty quick. He's got his hands in the right place. Looks like he's cruising along. Whoa, look at that, huh? Whoa. Oh, nice down shift. Very nice. Very look at nice. this. Look at this. Hands over. Kept both hands on the wheel. Very nice. Now, you shouldn't drive with one hand out the window waving at um, bikini-clad women. Is well, not. it depends on where you're running in the race. <laughs> it, if you're that far behind, it's not a bad deal. Or if you need a date tonight, what, what's the proper move to actually switch a cassette when you're going, uh, let's say, around a hairpin turn? Well, I usually like to have the passenger do it. Yeah. My co-driver. I usually, when I race in these, have a co-driver. Yeah, you have a like a cassette person in there cassette to actually person. do the sound yeah. stuff. Uh oh. Whoa. Looks like we got a yellow flag off here. Whoa. Oh. Who was that? Just keep put it in gear. Keep going. He hit that pretty good. It was. No, there's another there's another yellow out for another car. I think this red car that's just coming behind, he was already into the wall. Right. And, th and he went off as well. Well, Herman Rainbow, I believe the, the Blue Book value just dropped on that Geo a couple thousand. So that's kind of... Let's take another look at that, that crash. Let's see how that happened. Coming around the turn. He just got carrying too... Yeah, he just carried too much speed in. Was he was understeering and then the uh, back wheels were off the ground. So that was Kurt Smith that started it all. Let's take a look at this one more time. K Kurt Smith was what semi-airborne almost. Yeah, he got the uh, rear wheel off the ground. You know, he started fourth in the race. Right. So uh, he qualified well, but he's dropped back. And, and having no front end is really going to hurt his chances. Here's, here's a little bit of what Kevin hears while he's taking on the MTV Celebrity Challenge. <laughs> I guess... Uh, that really is... That, is that a... That's quadruple. Billy Idol, of course, a fine driver in his own right. Well... <laughs> This is Kari Wern, Sebastian Bach. Holy jeez. We're, we're trackside. We're having a great time. Vince Neal right now is in the number one position, followed by Stephen Baldwin in the number eight car. And somewhere is Jack Russell creeping up. Where's Rachel, man? He's way ahead. He's so far in front that he's beyond first place. Uh, he's, he's like so far ahead, he's, he's in the back. That's right. I get it. So what are you going to do if something happens to Rachel? Steal the nose chain, learn how to play bass, everything will be fine. Cool. I get it. Cool. No, he's going to win anyway. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be keeping our eye out for Rachel and um, we're going to going to go to a commercial. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. We'll be back after this with more from MTV Celebrity Challenge Race. You know it. Oh. Okay, we're back. Oh. Apparently something has happened to Steve Baldwin, who is running second. Steve looks to be okay. At least one of his arms is. And he's uh, going to be very upset. Look, he's had, you know, he went nose into there. I don't know whether he had tried to make a, a pass or not. Okay, we're going to take a look at how this happened to Steve. I hope he's okay. Yeah, he looks he, okay. Now, here he was. Now, on his tail was Tommy, Tommy Lee. Lee. Yeah, he just, you know what? He didn't t turn. He was, he was more interested in what was going on behind him. And I think what happened there was he carried too much speed in, and then he couldn't turn the wheel. He just was going way too fast. I think he was interested too much in what Tommy Lee was doing. Wow. Look at that. He's not even turning now. Right. Now he's going straight. Look at that. Just goes straight so in. So he could have been looking in his rear view. Do you think he view? did that just to get on... On the air. <laughs> well, he framed our MTV Sports logo nicely. I've got to thank him for I that. Know. I just Did hope you guys pay him for that? There he is. He's okay, and that's our, that's our main concern. That always amazes me about race car, you guys. It seems like the worse the crash, the, the quicker you jump away from the, from the thing. And he's fine. Well, let's go back to the race. Let here. me tell you, he's upset right now because he's a hell of a competitor. Uh, I, what, was that wall part of your strategy, Steve? <laughs> uh, no, not really. You know what happened was... His Vince is running real well, man, and I was pretty pissed. So I figured I'd try to keep on his heels, and I was on his heels pretty well, and Tommy was right up my ass. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, they were blue and yellow flagging me. They wanted, you know, they were letting me know that Tommy wanted to pass, and I was like, to heck with him, you know. Vince well, you took the victory in Long Beach, and these guys are a team, right? So yeah. you, little sportsmanship, you no. moved out of the way, what right happened, into the wall. What happened was, <laughs> is I came down the straightaway, and I tried to break just a little bit later. But I, it wasn't anything I hadn't done before with the car. I, you know, I didn't push it over the limits of the norm, you know? Uh -huh. What happens is, the t is this track is getting a lot slicker. And the tires are just, you know, heating up and they're not, you know, they're just not sticking like they were before. Well, so. you're an excellent driver. I mean, you proved that yeah. over Thanks. and over. Thanks. <laughs> Shut up, Sebastian. Uh, 
I don't know, what freaked me out was I'm coming into the turn and the brakes lock, and when the brakes lock, the car just goes straight. So I'm going for the wall, and I came off, and the wheel caught, but it wasn't in time to make the turn, so I just locked him up and prepared. I was 20 feet before the wall when I knew I was going to hit. So you couldn't even get out of that one. Oh, huh? no, it was just like when I totaled my mom's car back in, like, you know, when I was a senior in high school. All right, that's okay. You have yourself some brownies, some chocolate chip cookies. You'll feel better. Uh, have a life saver. Have a kiss. Oh, I feel better already. <laughs> Geo storm without whom there'd be no cars. Well, that's true, and there might not be any left at the end of this race. But, yeah. uh, right, well, what are we down? Two or three at this point? Two? Uh, three or four, but there, there, <laughs> I think counting. only one that's really out. I tell you, last of last, he looks like he's trying to uh, close in on Jack Russell of Great White, and uh, that's pretty amazing when the guy doesn't even own a car. Uh, but the battle still is at the front, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty exciting battle. But these guys behind are having a great time. Kevin Seal again. Wow. And Kevin apparently has got himself a driving partner. Oh, my. I'll tell you what. Danny, did you put something in my coffee? I... I'll tell you what. Thank God I don't have to see this when I'm driving. <laughs> Which uh, one do you think is the real Kevin, Kevin Seal? Seal? I know one's his evil twin. I can tell you that right now. And it's the one that's winking at us. Yeah, and he's just trying to stay in the middle of the road at the moment, I think. This is the way racing used to be in the early 70s, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> this is a pretty good bunch right here. Is that Jack Russell? There's Steve Baldwin's car. Hey, they just left it there. <laughs> just something else to aim at when you're down there. Yeah, Steve, Steve uh, seems to be holding tight at, on seven laps there. He's doing okay. This is a pretty tight bunch right here. But no one bad. seems to be wanting to make a move. I don't, I, I'd like to see some risk taking, you know? I, well, I think we're going to see that at the front, too, when uh, Joey gets up behind Tommy Lee. So you think Joey's going to I mean, I know they all took out the collision damage waiver. I don't, I don't see why they, they just don't go for it. So let's check out our leaders one more time. Let's take a look at the front. Here we go. Well, I think that uh, Don's trying to find them at the moment. Maybe you think they stopped? <laughs> well, you know, I, I hear they're in Crested Butte. Yes. He, uh, Tommy Lee made a wrong turn. wrong turn. He's, he's left actually, Denver. Actually, they were watching the monitor, but they just <laughs> went by in front of us. Here we go. Oh, wow. Look out. Look at the one up. <laughs> oh, wow. It's George Lucas, Industrial you know, Light and Magic. I don't know if I'm going to be able to drive this afternoon <laughs> after this. That's right. You have to get in a car. Yes, but I don't know what you guys gave me. The car's getting narrower there. It's just the cookie, Danny. It's, it's just, just the, the magic cookie. 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 I thought we had a yellow flag up. Whoa. Hey, so something's wrong with my monitor. I think. No, that was, uh, that was Steve Baldwin's car that we still saw. And this is Tommy Lee with uh, Joey Gion, who looks like he's getting close to making a pass. But Vince is still holding them off. I'm going to be very disappointed in Motley Crue if they don't have a one-two after oh. the predictions those guys made. They were really yapping it up in the celebrity tent, the unair conditioned celebrity tent. But there's our number one leader. There is Vince, Vince Neal. Neal. And behind him, of course, Tommy Lee and oh, Joey Gian. I, I can tell you one thing about Vince. He is pumped up for this. He, he wanted to win this race. He's enthusiastic. Now, only from the first to third car, there's only 4.4 seconds separating them. We've got about five laps to go, so can I use a cliche here? Sure. I think anything could happen. You can't use that oh, cliche. Darn. This, he's probably giving Tommy orders. You cannot pass right. me or you'll be out of the band. Yeah, that uh, could be a thing. Now, Tommy Lee, you know, plays the drums. He right. does this thing where he, he did a spin this year and he fell off his drum set and hit his head but didn't get a concussion. So that shows you something about the spirit of Tommy Lee. That's I know if I hit my head off 20 feet fall, I'd probably get a concussion. So I... I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> <you know? laughs> well, it depends what part of my head I Oh, okay. Joey but, Gion still is he just watch how I get whoa. Whoa. Imagine having one of those mirrors. Uh, oh, wow. rear view mirror. Hey, pass me the doors tape. Yeah. <laughs> but I think they're both closing up on uh, I think they're both closing up on Vince. But you know what the most important thing is? That it's a nice day and I got a tan. I hate to sound egocentric about this whole thing. Whoa, Tommy Lee. Is that all you were concerned about? <laughs> yes. I'm at shower. Look at this. Oh Joey's Look at this. out there. Tightest corner on the track right there. And now they're going to come by right in front of us. Now it looks like Tommy Lee is making a move. Well, he's trying to catch he's up. He's closed the gap down. 
He's closed the gap from 2.5 the last lap to 1.8. And look what's happened to that average speed, Dano. Their average speed has gone up almost a mile an hour. Wow. And they're still barely over the speed limit. <laughs> feel the heat. <laughs> to feel the heat. Yeah, oh, this, look at this, the whoop de doos Now, this, uh, I wanted to ask you about this. How does one negotiate the funhouse curve, as it's called? Well, the whoop de doos are pretty tough. Yeah. I think we don't seem to have, oh, I like that. Wow, it is hot down there, it's isn't it? It's kind of like, the whoa, did you see Tommy Lee? <laughs> That's kind of like mogul skiing, isn't it? Don't touch the brown acid if you're in the crowd. <laughs> Apparently it's gone bad in the heat. <laughs> Whoa. Can I have another one of those cookies? <laughs> Sit tight, Alice. Wait till the big rabbit gets here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's the altitude, okay. man. Where's good old Kevin Seal, MTV's sporting fool? Let's see how he's, look at Kevin. Kevin is hand over hand driving, really pushing it. Listen to that engine. Look at this. I don't even think he's on the same road anymore. There's no cars in front of him. <laughs> Kevin, he's just going to Aspen. Kevin's going to the airport. Kevin, get back. And Vince Neal. Vince Neal did it. And these guys predicted accurately. Tommy Lee and Joey Gian. We had a Motley crew one, we two. We sure did. Motley crew. Kurt Smith. I see Kurt making all kinds of hand gestures in there. What do you think that is? I think that means I'm not paying for the front end. I'm not sure. Now we've got Dana Strum coming in. Now here's Tommy Lee. Finally got it working. The, the camera. Cam Look at that. He's waving. He's happy. A Motley Crew one, two. You don't think he's not pumped. So once again, the finishers, Vince Neal of Motley Crew, first, second place, Tommy Lee of Motley Crew, and coming in third, and it started in 12th place, Joey Gian, and making it, coming in third, fourth place, was Kurt Smith of Tears for Fears, after, Dana Strum. Well, and Kurt did it after that little fender bender where he had the wheels off the ground. That's right. Uh -huh. And of course, the big disappointment today has to be Steve Baldwin. Steve came you know, in here. Yeah, Steve was uh, pumped up and ready to go. He wanted to have a one-two in celebrity races after Long Beach. Right. And uh, he was looking good, but forgot to turn. Yeah, apparently Steve can keep the car and, and use it as a paperweight. And here's Kevin Seal. He's got his thumbs up. He's happy. Well, he finished in a respectable sixth place for the Sporting Fool. Yeah. That was the girls I think he was thumbs up to <laughs> or waving to. Ah, the pits. The pits. <laughs> I gotta love the pits. <laughs> this is a great business, isn't it? Oh man. I love this racing. Now of course here's the parallel parking part of the uh, the race which they'll be scored highly on. So that all in all, Danny Sullivan, um, what would you say if you had to sum it up? And I'm and, and let's say you do have to sum it up. Are you forcing me to sum it up? I'd say from <laughs> it was a very good race from uh, Vince Neal's point of view. Again, we, it was a little bit disappointing for Steve, I'm sure, but I thought that he and Tommy, uh, that Vince and Tommy Lee drove a great race, just as they predicted, a one-two for Motley Crue. But Joey Gian's got to be uh, one of the one of the up and comings. I mean, he drove a great race from 12th position, and I don't care what you say, even though there were some crashes in there, he still had to get up and catch the leaders. Mm. And coming in last today is a proud but last Tim Kelly. So yeah, so so the crew came out screaming loud and they backed it up yeah and that's pretty much the bottom yeah. line if you're going to talk big you better be able to back it up yeah the big problem now is i talked to ben santa tommy yesterday those guys all want to get in indy cars all right uh, you know they this <laughs> figures hey geo storms now we're going to indy cars that's the next step and there's sort of the i guess to the victory circle they put either roses around his head or i can't remember if that's horse racing or spray some champagne there we you go know. Uh-oh, there's Steve Baldwin's car. Uh, good thing Steve had AAA.